Alright, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. I'm here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and where I'm at today is the Springs Preserve. We're at the main entrance, and I'm here for a very important reason. I'm not here to show you the fabulous gardens of the Springs Preserve or the Nevada State Museum or any of the other cool things they got here at the Springs Preserve. Why I'm here today is because I'm here for the uh, health, healing, and happiness event that has been taking place here for the last three years and in the future they hope to move it out to not only have it in Las Vegas but other cities around the country. I'm, you know, I'm really into personal development, you know, diet and lifestyle and always trying to improve myself in any way I possibly can and I want to encourage you guys to always work on yourself. You know, you are never finished working on yourself. You guys might be thinking like, John, how can you not know everything? You know, you've been doing this for 19 years, you know. I'm still just a puppy dog. I'm still just learning, I'm playing, I'm going through the wonderful experience and adventure of life one day at a time, always trying to learn more and always trying to do better. And that's why I'm here today to find out if there's any kind of new stuff I could learn that's gonna help enrich my life and make me a better person. But more importantly, one of the sayings I like to say is, to become a better teacher, you need to become a better student. So I myself am not speaking at this event this year. I'm here to be a student so I can become a better teacher for you guys, but also you know, for when I do have a family and for my loved ones. Um, so in any case, uh, what we're gonna do is get out of this hot sun. We're gonna go into the health, healing, and happiness event, and I'm gonna share with you guys more about it and why I think it's probably one of the best events you could attend all year. So now I'm inside the Springs Reserve and about to go into the uh, Health, Healing and Happiness Conference. And this is a conference for natural health solutions for the whole body, mind and spirit. Now this is not just an event that teaches about diet because yeah, definitely I would agree, diet is one component of an overall healthy whole body, body or holistic you know, body in my opinion or holistic approach to health because it's not only the diet and I want to really you know uh, strive to let you guys know this so at the health healing and happiness event it's more than just diet it's more than just nutrition it also includes spirituality fitness uh, social interactions personal development and of course the environment oh environment is so huge and many of these aspects are really important yet many people just focus on the diet because it's all about the diet well no diet is completely the panacea and I'm really happy that I'm here mainly to learn things other than the diet because I got my diet pretty much dialed in. I can't get it too much dialed in further. But you know, some of the other areas I could definitely use some development. You know, we got Robert Cheek, you know, he's in he's a fitness, you know, guy, does a whole plant-based diet. You know, we got people talking about relationships. I'm really gonna be going to that um, talk to talk about relationships to learn how to have the best relationships they got uh, talks on like you know how to better manage your time and time management so that you can do all the different things you want in life they also have talks on spirituality and uh, different things like that so I'm really excited to go in I'm gonna go ahead and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour of uh, what this uh, setup looks like the conference rooms the vendor areas what a lunch looks like maybe some uh, tour of the Springs Preserve here but also, you know, the more valuable uh, part for you since you guys weren't able to be here and I do encourage you guys to come the following year, come next year, come when they have this event in future years because every year there's different speakers, the topics change and there's always something you could learn and I'm a big advocate of always in improving what you're doing and you know, yes, th these events can cost a little bit of, you know, money to come to but the fact of the matter is clear, you know, how much is your life worth? How much is the quality of the life you know that you're having is worth you know there there's gonna be speakers talking about how to heal cancer and how different conditions can be helped by using some of the techniques they're sharing here and how many of the people speaking have already done this and healed themselves of cancer or other things in life one of my messages to you guys is that I want you guys to take responsibility for your health and this is the kind of event that you need to really start taking responsibility because you can't take responsibility without information and this conference is going to be full of information. At the end of this conference, you know, I will interview a few select speakers that I like a lot and uh, get some of their information to share with you guys. But, uh, you know, be aware that this event is just priceless and, you know, I believe that even if you pick up one tidbit of knowledge that can change your life, coming out to the whole event, the money you spent, the time invested is definitely worth it. So actually I'm going to go inside, get registered and uh, give you guys a little tour of the health, 
Happiness and Healing 2014. All right, so now I got registered for the conference and now I wanna share with you guys the schedule. They got a schedule of events here, two full days from like eight to uh, 5.30 each day. They have over 25 different lectures uh, presented by over 20 different people uh, teaching about this stuff. What I'm gonna do in this segment of the video is actually share with you guys the different speaking areas and you know, I don't want to disturb them too much, but what I will do is I will pick out a handful of the uh, speakers that I like the most and we're gonna actually interview them for you guys so you guys could learn the caliber of information and also glean some information from this video even if you were not able to come this year in 2014 and look forward to seeing you in 2015. So now I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys uh, speaker hall number one. Right now we got Will Tuttle up and I'm just gonna show you guys inside hopefully without disturbing them. Ready when you are. I'm about myself and my own, uh, what I can get and how I can manipulate the world. So another aspect of the health, healing, and happiness event is that it takes place here at the Springs Preserve in Las Vegas. Now the Springs Preserve is literally a destination unto itself here in Las Vegas for both locals and people visiting because it's literally an oasis in the desert. It's run by the water agency and they show you, you know, what can be grown here, the desert plants, the, uh, you know, low water use plants and of course for me also it's important, the vegetable garden. We're here in the Lynn Mill Vegetable Garden now and I hope that people attending the event take some time to walk around the beautiful nature because for me, nature is definitely part of health, healing, and happiness. I think what I'd like to do with you next is share with you guys just some of the crops that are growing here in the vegetable garden, which you can grow in Las Vegas in the summertime, and you could probably grow wherever you live. So uh, let's check a few things out. One of my favorite summertime vegetables are the zucchinis or the summer squashes. Here we have some uh, probably yellow bar squash. I love to take the squash and instead of eating you know, pasta that you would take and cook. What I recommend is actually getting some, growing your own zucchinis, harvesting them, and then getting what's called a spiral slicing tool that'll allow you to take the zucchinis, put them into little noodles or noodle shapes out of the zucchinis, which don't even need to be cooked, and you can eat them raw, whether you wanna make a pesto sauce or even some kind of marinara sauce with some fresh tomatoes and some sun-dried tomatoes in the blender to thicken them up, of course add some uh, nice Italian seasoning to that as well. Uh, let's see, next we're gonna go over to the tomatoes, another really important aspect to most people's gardens, especially here in Las Vegas. So here's some yellow pear tomatoes growing in Las Vegas. Now, due to the extreme heat, I mean, it's been consistently over 100 degrees, and maybe early next week we'll hit 110. It, it can be challenging to grow tomatoes, but you can do it, and I could help. The main thing you want to remember is you want to grow the smaller varieties, the small fruit of varieties, whether you're growing the yellow pears, which I don't think have a super good flavor, or you're growing other small cherry varieties like the Sweet 100, or my favorite is the black cherry, seems to grow really well in Vegas, or I'm experimenting with coyote uh, cherry tomato this year to see how they're going to grow. It's like my favorite tasting tomato of all times. The smaller variety tomatoes are going to do much better than, say, the beef steaks ever would. So another crop that does great in Vegas, so these guys right here, even with little water, they are thriving. These are beans. Many people think that on a plant-based diet, you need to eat beans for the protein. Well, guess what? Leafy greens have protein, fruits have protein. As long as you eat enough calories, you're gonna get enough protein on a whole plant food, plant-based diet. But definitely grow some beans, and if you're gonna grow beans in the extreme heat of Las Vegas, you wanna grow the Asian varieties, like yard-long Asian beans, they're gonna thrive like this. I don't wanna to take too much more time here in the garden because I wanna get back to the event, but if you're interested in learning how to grow in Vegas or wherever you live, be sure to check my other YouTube channel at growingyourgreens.com. All right, so I don't wanna to spend too much time in the garden, although I'm enjoying my time in the garden today. I think actually the soup's on, or lunch is on. I wanna share with you guys what they're serving for lunch, you know, they have a uh, meal plans where you could actually get the food uh, so that you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, bringing a lunch or packing a lunch. They serve a nice plant-based, healthy uh, meal for you. So let's go into the uh, cafeteria and show you guys what everybody's eating for lunch today. So every day at the Health, Healing, and Happiness Conference, they're providing lunch for an additional cost. And I'm glad to say that the lunch is quite healthy. It's all plant-based, high raw food percentage, including, you know, tons of beautiful fresh fruits. They got a quinoa salad, along with a lots of nice, delicious kale, as well as some uh, hummus and some uh, 
vegetable soups for everyone to eat. This lunch sells out so quick, so get here early. Luckily, I'm here before the big rush of the crowds because yesterday actually sold out. So yeah, from the people I've talked to, they've all loved it so far. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like in the second speaker room. They're actually just starting, so I'll show you guys real quick. Doctors, therapists, and patients with treating the most difficult populations and illnesses. Dr. G graduated with honors from Carnegie. So now I'm gonna share with you guys the vendor marketplace. And this is the space where you're gonna find vendors that have products that are gonna allow you to, you know, uh, uh, get healthier, <laughs> be happier, or have a healing. And there's many different products being displayed inside, whether that is, you know, nutritional supplements, uh, essential oils, um, body work, or energy work, or just other related topics. They're all really cool. So let's go inside and share with you guys some of my favorite vendors at this event today. So now we're at the booth of Products of the Earth, and I like this company because it says on their brochure right here, if you can't eat it, it doesn't belong in your skin. I know many of you guys out there may still be using, you know, just products out of wall, whatever that store is, and you don't want to use it with all the phytates and different things they add in there. I mean, some of those chemicals, I mean, if it puts it on your skin, your body's absorbing it just as if you're eating it. So I like some of the products they have here. One of their best-selling products is right here. It's actually the Earth Facial Scrub. So if you're a woman or a, a guy that likes to keep his face clean, this is definitely a good product. It's all natural, and I like that they're using all natural products here. You know, products of the Earth. You know, things that you could eat, you know, before they actually formulated them. They're all food-grade products, so I like that a lot. They're also all plant-based material. So that's really cool. And they have solutions for everything. I mean, they got like shampoos, they got hair revitalizers, they got even like a dry skin cream. I mean, we want to really be getting back to nature. And the products of the Earth products allow you to do that, so be sure to check them out if you're interested in learning more about their products at productsoftheearth.com. So another one of my favorite booths is the Vegetarian Society of Utah. You can check their website site out at vsutah.org. And why I like this booth so much is because it is full of information. You know, they're selling a few different books, but primarily they have free literature for people attending to take and this is very important you know especially if you're new into a plant-based diet to learn all the facts and they have all these different handouts that you could take you could take like one of each one and if you read them all you'd be an expert and you know all this stuff I mean they got things on you know oil what the experts say and say you know why extracted oils are not optimal and you should probably get your oils from whole foods they have ones on pesticides in produce and genetically modified foods they have you know articles on gluten ones on Hypo, mycemia, and diet, one on healthy snacks for kids. I mean, all kinds of information. Now, if you guys aren't here to get some of these, you know, some of these can be found on like uh, Dr. Joel Furman's website. Um, another website that you want to check out for sure is actually pcrm.org. That's Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. They'll have a lot of information to get you started to eating a healthy plant-based diet, including, you know, things like where to get your protein, where to get your calcium, where to get your B12, and all this kind of stuff that is so commonly asked about, you know, for people that are new into a plant-based diet. So another one of my favorite booths here is a doTERRA booth, and what they do is essential oils, probably some of the highest quality, best essential oils, and what the essential oils are, literally the oils are the essences of plants. You know, as you guys know, plants have many different properties. Some are, you know, antiseptic and antiviral and all this crazy stuff, right? And that's why you guys should eat a plant-based diet, but also, you know, get some of the toxic things out of your kitchen for household cleaners and stop using that, you know, crazy formaldehyde-based perfumes and scents and this stuff could actually even be used for therapeutic uses and they have a whole book here describing all that. Also, of course, for aromatherapy, so you want to make your space smell good, use some doTERRA oils. So here's a whole collection of different oils they have, my favorite of which is probably the Lang Lang. So another reason to come to the Health, Happiness, and Healing event is because they're giving away free food samples. We got pulled jackfruit right here with actually a vegan cheese sauce over some chips. And yeah, don't worry, I'm not eating this, I'm gonna give it, give it away. But I wanted to show you guys this, that you know, eating a plant-based diet can taste absolutely delicious, and especially from you know some of the people I've heard after they're sampling this stuff out, it is absolutely delicious. And I like a lot that actually they're, you know, 
giving local restaurants and chefs in the area opportunity to come in to get their product sampled out, but also let the people attending really taste what some good, delicious, plant-based, healthy foods can taste like. So you guys just saw what it's like to be here to see some of the speakers. The rooms were full. I mean, there's like almost 400 people here. It was an amazing event because you guys were not able to come this year. I've actually interviewed four of my favorite speakers so that you guys could learn from them some of the information they shared in their 45-minute presentations in just a few minutes. So uh, let's go to those clips next. So now we're with Robert Cheek, one of the speakers here at this event, and he had a class earlier today on building a better body on a plant-based diet. And check out this guy, I mean, that's all plant-based muscle right there, baby. And uh, what he's gonna do today is I'm gonna get him to share a few tidbits with you guys since you guys were not here, but definitely encourage you guys to be at future events because you probably will be speaking. Robert's been a good friend over the years and I admire and appreciate the work that he does. He's a good guy. So uh, Robert, what's uh, the three tips that you would give you know, uh, people out there in YouTube land to yeah. uh, you know, basically burn fat and build muscle on a plant-based diet? Absolutely, thanks John. Uh, what you really gotta do is first understand what your basal metabolic rate is. Basically, based on you, your age, gender, height, weight, activity level, how many calories are you really burning? 90% of people, 99% of people don't know. How can you possibly expect to burn fat, lose weight, build muscle, gain mass, if you don't know where you're starting from? So find out what your BMR is using the Harris-Benedict equation. Just hop online, Harris-Benedict calculator, punch in some numbers and say, wow, I need to eat 2,500 calories a day just to maintain weight. Well, what if you're eating 3,800 calories, including processed foods and such? Are you gonna lose weight? Obviously not. So that, that's, the, that's the first step is understanding where you're starting from. Another step is to eat plant-based whole foods. We're talking fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, seeds, legumes, whatever fits into your specific whole food diet, understanding that the original sources of nutrition, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, fatty acids, glucose, everything essential for life comes in its original form and best form from plant-based whole foods. The, the third thing is you've got to be consistent. You've got to be consistent and accountable because consistency leads to adaptation, which leads to improvement, which leads to success, which leads to attainment, and with real accountability and transparency, day in, day out, healthy eating, healthy living, healthy exercise, you can achieve your goals, whatever they are. It's just finding the formula and actually applying it. Wow, I mean, he shared so much with you in that small amount of time. I mean, he is a wealth of knowledge powerhouse of vegan muscle there. So Robert, if somebody wants to learn more about you and your work, uh, how can they find you on the web online? Yeah, thanks John. Veganbodybuilding.com. I think we're celebrating 13 years now. So I started as a 22 year old kid uh, and it's been a great um, decade and a third uh, so far online and we, we've got a great community there. So come say hi, veganbodybuilding.com and of course on Facebook and Twitter as well. All right, thank you, Robert. So now we're with Dr. Michael Greger, and he gave a talk at this event, combating common diseases with food. And since you guys were not here to hear his amazing talk, but we'll share with you guys later how you could hear some of it, um, we're gonna ask him the one top tip to combat diseases with food. Dr. Greger? Um, so I went through the list of the top 15 leading causes of death in the US and talked about the world diet may play in preventing, arresting, or even reversing some of our top 15 killers. And you know, I, so I start out with heart disease. There's only one diet ever proven to reverse heart disease in the majority of patients, and that's the plant-based diet. And so if that's all a plant-based diet can do, reverse our number one killer, then shouldn't that be the default diet until proven otherwise? And the fact that it can also help reverse type 2 diabetes and hypertension and other leading killers, it just, uh, it seems overwhelming the evidence in favor of eating a diet centered around unprocessed plant foods. I definitely agree. I recommend a diet in unprocessed plant foods. So Dr. Gregor, are you, are you, would you say that there's any particular foods that one might want to concentrate on because you review all the different scientific studies and makes those available for you guys, but what are the foods that people should really concentrate on to, to get the most benefits out of a plant-based diet in your opinion? The healthiest fruits are berries. We should all eat berries every day. The healthiest vegetables are dark green leafy vegetables. We should all be eating our greens. And then, you know, legumes. We cannot miss out on beans, peas, lentils. Um, and, you know, I encourage people to eat nuts and seeds every day. Uh, big salads. Um, and, you know, don't forget, everyone's always, yeah, fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts. What about the mushrooms? The whole kingdom. I encourage you to have nutrients that aren't found other places. 
people should explore sea vegetables, spices, herbs and spices have some powerful healing properties. And so, uh, you know, the, the most colorful, flavorful diet is often the healthiest. Well, I mean, I would definitely agree with them on all counts. So, Dr. Gregor, if somebody wants to learn more about your work and get some of these scientific studies and some of the amazing videos that you produce, actually on a regular basis, I can't even put up as many videos as you do, um, how can somebody learn about you and your work? Um, so, I'm at nutritionfacts.org. Uh, we're now uh, getting a million hits a month. Everything on the website is free. There's no ads, no corporate sponsorship. Um, I, it's strictly non commercial, non profit, not selling anything, just putting up as a public service new videos and articles on the latest in nutritional science every day. I encourage people to check it out. I encourage you guys to check it out too nutritionfacts.org. It's definitely one of my favorite websites. So now we're with Dr. Brooke Goldner, and she gave a, a talk here, the Happiest Life Relationship Seminar that I actually attended, and I learned a few things from. So this lady has a lot of good things to say. And uh, what she's gonna do now is summarize for you guys the three top tips to have a better relationship today. Hey guys, I'm so excited to be here with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. So, what are the most important things you need to do to start having happier relationships? Because better relationships are the key to your happiness. So, tip number one is really realizing it, that the key to your happiness is in having the most fulfilling, best relationships you can possibly have. So you need to devote your time and energy into those relationships because without that, you can have health, and you can have great success, but you're not gonna have that. Step number two is you want to avoid some of the biggest mistakes that people make in their relationships that causes suffering in their lives. So one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they believe the stories they make up in their minds about other people. We talked a lot about that, right? So a lot of times we'll think that we know what somebody's thinking or that people should be doing things for us without us having to ask them. Uh, and, and we end up just feeling let down and hurt. And we don't need to because that stuff's happening because we're just believing the stuff in our own minds instead of really interacting that with that other person in a real relationship where they have a living chance, a fighting chance to actually <laughs> be there for you and not let you down. So I find that when people start communicating and stop believing their minds, they actually start having real relationships that are fulfilling in their lives. And the last thing would be Trying to think, oh, yes, well, one of the most important things is that having relationships is a skill. You know, that just like learning to play a sport or anything else, it requires skills. And so I really, really suggest that this is an area where you want to improve in your life, that you go out and you find a guru, a teacher, somebody who can help you learn those skills and practice them every day. Wow, I would totally agree with all those things. I'm going to start implementing some of those into my personal life. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. G, if somebody wants to learn more about you and your work and get a hold of you for the different counseling and psychological things you do, how can they find you? Okay, well, you can go to my website. It's skypsychiatrist.com. So, you know, Skype, uh, S-K-Y-P-E, psychiatrist, P-S-Y-C-H-I-A-T-R-I-S-T.com. And you go to my website there. Um, you can find out if you're in California, you could actually hire me as a therapist. Uh, I do it completely through video conferencing, so you get to just be in your own home in your own space and talk to me that way. Um, and also, if you want to find out more about any of my upcoming trainings, you have my contact information right there on the website. You can also find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Dr. G M D D O C T O R G letter G M D. And I give out tons of free advice and thoughts every day to help people have happier lives. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So we're here with Ronnie and Min, and they gave a talk today how to have success with raw foods, and they gave a variety of tips over the 45-minute presentation that they gave, including Min making some delicious uh, raw food that I sample that's quite easy to make and super delicious. But what I'm going to have them share with you guys today is the top three tips to have success with raw food so you guys that weren't able to come um, are getting some of these tips so you can implement them and start making the positive changes in your life. So Ronnie and Min, what are three tips? to uh, have success with the raw foods. Okay, number one thing that Min and I would suggest is to keep a lot of food around that you can just pick up and eat. Whether it's fruit, apples, oranges, bananas, melons, uh, snacks, uh, anything, celery, whatever you enjoy to eat that you can just pick up and eat without having to make a meal of. 
Keep those around your house, keep them in your car, keep them at your place of work, wherever you might eat or want to snack. That way when you wake up in the morning, you've got the fruit ready for you, and if you want to snack during the day, you can just pick something up and eat it. That's tip number one. I mean, that's very important. I mean, fresh fruits and vegetables, the ultimate fast food before there's candy bars and cookies and all this crap. All right, Ronnie, what's the next one? Next one is to eat something green, a big green meal every day, lunch or dinner, either a big salad or a wrap. Now, men, you made an awesome uh, dressing tonight for dinner. What give us? Tell us that recipe for a simple, easy dressing. Dressing is uh, orange juice, avocado, mm. and just a little bit uh, salt. That's it. Just orange juice and avocado. And what Min does is she takes basically equal amounts. You can put it in a little mini blender or a big blender or a food processor. Take the same amount basically of avocado and orange juice and then add whatever seasonings that you like. You could add salt, black pepper, you could add Cajun seasonings, you could add Italian seasonings. You'll figure it out. But if you use a base of orange juice and avocado, it doesn't get any more simpler than That's that. Good. It doesn't get any more natural. That's awesome. tip number two. Awesome. How about number three, Ronnie? What do you say? Number three, I would say enjoy the food and only eat those foods that you enjoy. Don't force yourself to eat something because someone told you you need more carbs or you need this or you need that or you need a special mushroom from outer space that's going to change your whole lifestyle. No. There's so much variety of raw foods out there that if there's something that you don't like, you can totally avoid it. But if you like it, incorporate it and eat those foods that you like. There's so much variety in raw foods. If, if you can't find foods that you like and enjoy with raw foods, then you're going to have a trouble keeping yourself alive. <laughs> All right, Ronnie, I think those are great tips. And, uh, you know, they even shared recipes in their demo today. And if you weren't able to, uh, you know, get the recipes at the demo, uh, they actually have a way you can do that at home. They actually have a YouTube channel. They also sell an awesome DVD with uh, many recipes on there that are simple and easy and delicious. I've had many of them myself. Um, and so, Ronnie, if somebody wanted to learn more about you guys and your work and how to get a hold of you to buy your DVD, how would they do that? Just go to our website. It's ubraw.com. And that's the letter U, the letter B, the letter R, the letter A, and the letter W. Dot com. They'll find us and they'll find all of our products and information. All right, thank you, Ronnie. All right, so you guys got to the end of this episode. As you guys can see, everybody's saying their goodbyes. This event is officially over. I definitely have a fun time at this event. I want to encourage you guys, if you live anywhere in Vegas or even LA, this is worth the drive. There's some a good speaker lineup that you want to learn from. I know I learned a few things here. You know, the final comment I'd like to say is that I love this event. The one thing that I changed, because I always got to put my two cents in there, is that, you know, they had this main speaker room and actually both speaker rooms they had uh, you know uh, vendors around the outside of the room and this in my opinion was a very bad idea I've never really saw this done at other events I've been to and it was just uh, distracting for the people listening to the speaker plus also you know there's very little time for people to go up to the vendors I think it'd be far better to have a specific vendor area where all the vendors were in one specific room and it wasn't too crowded there's was plenty of space for people to spread out and also designated time during the day where people had some time actually to go visit the vendors and see the different products offered. I mean, that's probably my main criticism about this event. Otherwise, they had a great lineup, a lot of stuff to learn, and I hope to see you guys at the 2015 Health, Healing, and Happiness event. To learn more about this event, you want to visit the website health-healing-happiness.com. And uh, hopefully I'll be speaking in 2015, so come by and say hi. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best. All right, this is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And we have a good friend here, Robert Cheek. He's been doing the vegan bodybuilding thing for many years now. I admire him highly. He also advocates a plant 